Hello everybody. Welcome back to All Things Running. This week we have none other than Nike athlete Jake Smith. Um, Jake's agreed to sign and give away a pair of race-worn Nike Vaporfly version 1 uh, UK 9.5 so uh, to be with your chance of winning those subscribe to the channel go over to Instagram follow me at Andy Divine Running follow Jake Smith um, and comment in the video below so yeah pair of Nike Vaporflies worn by Jake Smith. Anyway, let's head over to the interview now and uh, hear from the man himself. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's guest, we have Nike and NN running athlete, Jake Smith. Um, so welcome Jake, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for letting me join. And. Uh, First of all, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Yes, yeah, so my name is Jake Smith. As you just mentioned, I'm a professional athlete with Nike and the NN running team. Um, I just signed this year, so I'm loving it at the minute. Um, just to be part of such a crazy, crazy team is incredible. And you see that like, every, every weekend there's like a different result or someone running a world record or something mad like that. Um, yeah, I'm a long distance runner. So I love the half marathon, enjoyed some 10Ks on the track this summer, and hopefully we'll one day we'll step up to the marathon. Brilliant. So, uh, as always, the first question is, in as few words as possible, what does running mean to you? It's life, basically. Life. <laughs> So yeah, so my answer is everything because the like for the last three years it has literally taken over my world. Um, cool. So how did you get into running? Um, I've seen other podcasts, uh, other YouTube interviews where you grew up in Hong Kong, or were you born in Hong Kong? So I was born in Bermuda and I grew up in Hong Kong. And when living out in Hong Kong, I played all the different sports, so like football, rugby, hockey. Um, I then came to England when I was 16 and I think because I was playing different sports but then I saw the different size boys here who play rugby and it was a lot bigger than the ones in Hong Kong so I was like you know what I'm going to give it up because um, maybe just stay on the running side because I don't have the physique to be a rugby player or anything so I think that's the big head turnaround. So um, previous guest Phil Sussman his um his story is quite different. He started running quite competitively from a, from a younger age. So was running, it wasn't always the goal for you. It was just when you came back to England, when you were a bit older and you realized, yeah, let's get into running. Um, so when I was in Hong Kong, I was doing like, so it's like equivalent to like English schools here, but the standard is nowhere near as good in Hong Kong. Um, and when I was doing out there, I, I was just like almost enjoying it, but I, I was just, I, I loved playing football on a daily basis, rugby. And I just felt it made you, it gets you so fixed you, without even realizing and getting that aerobic um, benefit. And when I was in Hong Kong for the last couple of years, I started taking it more seriously because I won a few cross country races like in school and then represented Hong Kong in Mongolia for a race. And so um, I had a few experiences. And then when I came to the UK, like I said, saw the size of the boys playing the other sports. And I was like, I was a good runner. I was doing quite well. I wasn't amazing or anything. I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this really push for it. And ever since I haven't looked back. Sweet. So um, you came back over to the UK and then went to university? Yes. So I went to Cardiff Met in 2018 or something. 2018, I think. Um, great, great. Really university. Old now. Yeah. So it's a great university and um, still living in Cardiff at the minute. And I did an undergrad there and yeah, I Cardiff's a lovely, lovely place. So, and that's where you met James T, your coach. Um, so he was my coach. Um, yeah. I've now changed coach. Um, but when I was at Cardiff, because 
I think the university side, a lot of athletes, if they don't have a proper coach or for uni, they go to university looking for that coach. So yeah. a lot of people who've come to Cardiff Metal, Cardiff Uni, they they come to university knowing that they're going to get, like, go into the hands of Steve Mitchell or James D. So back in the day, I was with James. And then this year, I, um like, he was exceptional for me. Achieved so many good things with him. But I decided to make a bit of a change. So now I'm with um, Gavin and Joe Pavey. So yeah. they're my coaches now. And, yeah, they've been absolutely exceptional this year just making sure uh, my health is good my emotional and physical a- a- attitude towards running is high and yeah it's just been an incredible year fantastic so the first time i met you was uh when you paced at the london marathon uh the elite only marathon during yes. covid um so how does it feel now that you're actually on the same team as as kip Chogi and people like that it must be like unbelievable I remember, like, because because of COVID, we had to stay in, like, that hotel. And I know they still stay in there, but um, because it was so many COVID rules, you just see them walking past you. And I was like, what the hell? Like, how are they? Why are they here and everything? And I was just, like, looking at them. And because Bekele was there as well. And, um, yeah, on that start line, it was quite funny because it was free. It was, like, freezing morning. All the Africans were freezing. All the Brits were like, oh, no, this is standard. (laughs) I was, like, standing there, like, oh, they're not used to this. But, um. No, it was incredible. And then now I, I still, because I've only been with them for like less than a year, it still like goes over my head knowing, like watching Kip Chogi break the world record in Berlin. I'm like, bloody hell, like I'm, I could go train with him next week if I almost wanted to or something, or could go meet up with him or something, um, go see him. So uh, yeah, it's a bit of a crazy situation. Yeah, but that day was absolutely mad. The weather was horrendous. I remember speaking to you for like 10 minutes and it was freezing cold and then, meeting you was totally outshadowed by Kip Jogi because he came around the corner and he just had like one of the worst performances of his professional career and he stood in the freezing cold rain talking to me and my friend Jack for like half an hour it was like what a nice bloke no, um, yeah. but yeah it was a great day yeah I was so how, how did that how did that come about like pacing at the London Marathon because you were I wouldn't say an unknown but you were still up and coming then weren't you so I think because I'd raced quite a few half marathons and like um because I'd run like 62 minutes not meant like not actually many Brits have run by that fast or anything and they didn't want to especially during COVID because they couldn't really bring in too many athletes because of all the rules so they just want I think I was quite lucky there so they just wanted to see on a domestic field who would want to do it and they just like asked me and I think they knew as well because I was prepping for world half world half I was going to be in very like good shape anyway and it just worked all like in my favor and everything cool so then yeah then a few weeks later you went and did the world half 60 30 yeah 61 yeah it was all right is that the first time you represented Great Britain um on the road road, yeah I'd represent like under 23s on the track uh, and back in my junior days, some world mount, um, some European mountain running, which was quite good fun. Um, but on the road, yeah. Cool. So, fast forward a couple of years, and then suddenly now you're part of NM Running and sponsored by Nike. Um, moving on to shoes, what are your favourite shoes? Ah, oh, the Vaporflies, the old edition. So, yeah, I asked they... Adam, so who's in charge of Nike? I was like. Can you get your hands on any old pair of vapor flies like the old edition? And thankfully he has. So I still have a couple more. I haven't worn in yet. Um, but they're undoubtedly my favorites. So a, a question I have for you, being a, a sponsored athlete by Nike, um, you see Kip Chogi has such a influence and in, um over how the Alpha Fly was produced. Yeah. Do they speak to all their athletes about how um, the shoes are performing? I think in terms of like because what he's achieved, um, he he's broken every barrier there is. So like he he gets first dibs almost, and then they ask other athletes like what shoes they want, what are the most comforting. And I think because I've only been in the team like in Nike or NN not for that long, um, each year like I hopefully stay with them, like I'll like progress and then I'll get more of an input into what like what works for me what I could help out um right now I haven't had like any 
input into like what shoe I want or anything because um for example the vape fly I really like the vape fly I still have them but once I like step up to another big race maybe after it, if I have a good result I could be like oh this worked for me this was uncomfortable so forth cool so what do you do most of your mileage in um, so, yeah the pegs of I love the Vomeros as well um I think they're just a really like standard cushion shoe so those two are the big ones for me fantastic and uh so you're famous for cross training yeah is that um so mainly it was so it was mainly on a cross train now i've seen you going slightly towards a bike more um <laughs> right now because because of my injury so i'm doing like in jd i'm doing i'm either on the bike bike not so much but the elliptical or the you know the assault bike, so you know the CrossFit games, yes, you know that hor bike. horrendous. Oh, I've been doing an hour and 40 minutes straight on it and stuff like that. 60, 70 kilometers on it, just going. Um Five it's a massive, for me. full body workout, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Cool. So uh yeah, so you're a big fan of cross training then. I love it, yes. So um yeah, we'll go into some subscriber questions if that's okay. So let me just get them up. So the first question, again, another silly question from Carl Wellborn. You're on a date night. Is it joggers or jeans? Oh, je well, jeans, jeans. If it's not a like yeah, joggers. Jeans. <laughs> okay, next question from neil the hawk runner he said where's the best place to train is it the uk or uganda with regards to atmosphere being in a group that kind of thing uh being in a group well in the uk you know the thing i get annoyed about it's like you look at america you know there's so many different hubs like university hubs wherever the uk yeah. i just i think we're just lacking that we're not lacking like a hub where people can meet so in card, for example, my housemate Kieran, because every time I'm injured, or like he's been injured for a while, I was running, and then now yeah. I'm injured, he's, he's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can run together, so he's like it's struggling. Like if you can find like a like a group of three, four people to run on on a daily basis, you've done well, apart from sessions. But in terms of group, Uganda, like every Monday, Wednesday, Friday morning, they scored called it school mornings or like Monday school, Wednesday school. And honestly, you got 120 Ugandans at 6 a.m., random track, bloody global medals galore throughout all of them. And they've just um, just achieved so much and you just go out for a run and everything. So apart uh, on that, it was amazing. The hills absolutely killed me. <laughs> as, uh, a lot of people know. So I absolutely destroyed myself out there. Um, yeah. So if I hopefully when I go back, I now understand what I need to do. And then so maybe the UK in terms of if you want to go for an easy run in the UK, you can like go on a flat in Uganda. Now you have to go up a mountain, back down. At least you have like sometimes you have random kids, random people running alongside you. So you're never alone. Um, but yeah, so the group Uganda in terms of easy stuff, the UK um tracks the uk because there was no there's no proper track in uganda we're just on a cross country yeah. it just that we don't know how long it is so they just cut out a bloody <laughs> um track a random grass track but yeah it's amazing brilliant so next question from scott free running will you ever go to the ultra marathon distances and give the trails a go Oh, I definitely have to. I've seen, I, I saw some of the, you know, the World Mountain Running was the other day and I saw some of them. Um, and then I think it's just like, well, I feel like, like I'll definitely do that. And the Ironman, the Ironman is on my bucket list so bad. Gets Kona, that's what I want to do. Madman, madman. So what is the bike, 112 miles? Yeah, 180K or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. and uh, like, there's no, if you've seen it, there's no shelter. You're literally on a random windy island just going up and down it's either red hot or really windy and yeah yeah so um from dino evans do you plan to run a marathon i think you we've already answered that um if so when 
or you I can't. Just it's in it's in the light line like uh i can't say yet uh, <laughs> only a few people only a couple few people know but like yeah it's, it'll be it'll be sooner rather than later that's oh, what man. cool so if you uh you're going to be taking more gels than just just one yeah. gel and a tiny bit of water yeah i need to i need to practice i might start doing it on the lip school like every like 20 minutes getting a morton gel me or something so um with when you when you were pacing the uh british marathon trials yes how far did you get into that before you pulled it 30k was it yeah it was about 17 18 miles were you tempted to just go to the end do you, do you, was, think you could have got the the qualifying time I, like we were on pace with it and callum hawkins who i was pacing with said just do it just like just finish it um i was like oh, i can't because I was so intent on doing the like the 10k Olympic trials, whatever. But then for some reason my I decided to do a marathon about two, three weeks later. So <laughs> don't know why I did that or how it worked, but there we go. And again from Dino Evans, uh are you planning on beating Mo Farah's half mile from record this year? <laughs> thought, he said thought, this year. Oh no, no, not this year. I thought not be this year. Emil had a very good, like he's in spectacular form. I think, I think yeah. he got a bit unlucky with the grouping situation because it looked like he ran solo for quite a bit of himself. Yeah. Um, one day I'd love to, but I think I think there's a cut few up and coming guys, so it could get taken off by well sooner rather than later by someone. Cool. So they are. All the subscriber questions done. Uh, there are a few silly ones that um, we can't really uh, can't really ask. Um, so now is the quick fire round. So here we go. Tea or coffee? Neither. Neither. Ever. Never. You've never had coffee. Or Crazy. every now and then when my girlfriend gets like a cost or something, I'll have a sip, but nah, I hate it. Hot chocolate? Yeah, I like hot chocolate. Yeah. But is that like that's not a tea or coffee, is it? Or then, then you'll move on to a mocha. Ah, oh, okay. I'll learn mocha it. and then you'll be a coffee addict. So. <laughs> uh track session or long run? Oh. oh. If it's a fast long run, long run, but a naughty track session, especially in the summer, is bliss. It's amazing. Dog or cat? Dog. Summer or winter for training? Summer. summer. Yeah. Hands down. So you've just uh, you've just run a PB. Is it PBs and pints or PBs and pizza? A marathon PB, this is. Oh, I'm going to go PB in pints. Good answer. I like it. Or both. Uh, sauna or ice bath? Sauna. I love a sauna. Yep. And you don't have to answer this question because they're both your teammate, but uh, Kipchoge or Bekele? I, so I'm going to say I'm going to have to say Bekele. I love Bekele. Oh. Um, no way. Yeah, I, I do love Kipcho as well, but Bekele is like an absolute goat, but yeah, there we go. Uh, thank you very much for coming, Jake. Um right. good luck in any upcoming races, good luck in coming back from injury. Yes. Uh and we'll speak to you soon. Yes, amazing. Thank you very much. So there we have it. Once again, a big thanks to Jake for uh, coming on the channel. Um, to reiterate to be in with a chance of winning those shoes follow me on Instagram follow Jake on Instagram uh, links are in the description below and then comment on, uh, on this video why you should win the uh, shoes also if you've got any guests that you'd really like to see on the channel let me know and I'll uh, I'll do my best to get a hold of them. There we have it then. So, uh, see you for the next guest.